Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Brie. Today I am filming my Rags to Riches series. I haven't played this in almost a month. It's been like 28 days, so it's been a while, but I'm really excited to get back into it. I do have some ideas for what we're gonna get up to in this episode, so we'll see if that actually happens or not. Um, I do have Peanut with me. Peanut, say hey to the camera. Yeah, so you'll probably hear him, you know, bathing himself in the background, but he's here with me. And yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Let's just jump right into some gameplay. Okay, I'm back here with Amari and Merlin. Looks like he is roasting marshmallows. Well, that's really cute. I like this outfit on him too. So yeah, what are you gonna do? Pet Merlin. Oh, I'm glad that we got him a cat because he seems to really enjoy having Merlin around. Um, yeah, so in the last episode, we were kind of focusing on our selling our potions, which you can see over here. We've got a few potions of plentiful needs, potion of good fortune, potion of masterful insults, and a potion of questionable contents. So we do have some stuff we can sell. It looks like our garden actually needs taken care of. What are you doing? Still roasting marshmallows? I need you to come. Ooh, magic. Oh, right. We just have copy pasta. Um... Why don't you sell everything in your garden? Actually, do we need to, do we need ingredients right now? You know what, you better actually harvest. Let's just harvest everything. Oh my gosh, everything is so stinky over here. So I was thinking, I kind of want to build Amari like a little home, just like a micro home, which has an actual bed and like a really tiny kitchen and a bathroom. So he doesn't have to like essentially camp still because we have enough money where i could build him a decent micro home but i don't know it's like look the great outdoors from outdoorsy lifestyle like he loves the outdoors and every time he's even standing under this roof like brewing potions and stuff he gets like really tense and stressed out that he's indoors so i don't know if he would really like like to live indoors i mean i don't know he doesn't seem to mind taking showers in this or peeing in the bush or sleeping in the tent and we have a grill now or you know a fire pit where he can grill food so he doesn't have to just eat quick meals anymore so i don't know if it's such a good idea to build him a home i don't know if you have any thoughts on that please let me know in the comments because i might just hold off on this in this episode I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind, but I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, if we should build Amari, like, a tiny home and what I should even put in there. Um, <laughs> Merlin's just walking around the garden. You're so cute. So what do we have? We have a ton of tomes. Okay, wait, we already did the copy pasta one. Can we learn this? Requires rank master. I don't think we're a master spellcaster yet, are we? No, then how we can't even learn that one. Why is it letting us study it? That's weird. And then Tome of Emotional Stability. I think we already did that one too. So we have a bunch of fish, we have crystals, we just have a bunch of potion ingredients basically. Um I would really like him to Oh my gosh, are you freezing? Are you cold? Thinking about the fire, right, right, right. Mmm, marshmallow, that does sound very good. Firefighter from extinguishing a fire. Okay, well, he's feeling good. It's about to get so snowy on this lot, too, so I don't... Oof. I don't know, maybe he does need somewhere a little better to, like, live. I'm not sure. What was that noise? What was that noise? Hey, can you come dig this up? We might as well. Who's this? Alfaba. So, one of... Ooh, we can copy pasta. Ooh, let's try that. One of the things I wanted to do in this episode is try to find Amari a girlfriend. Or just, like, get some romance going. He knows... Do you have romance with anybody? No. You do not. Okay. We know a lot of people, but most of them are married or have children. Yeah, Hannah, I like Hannah. They're like best friends, but she's a stay-at-home mom. And I don't really want to like move kids into the series so quickly. Did that work? It didn't work. Okay, just dig that up. So, I don't know. Like, I would like him to have a child, but I don't want to move 
you know, I don't even know how many kids Hannah has, but I don't want to move them on to this tiny lot. Like, that's not really the vibe. I'm going to chat with Elle. Okay. We know, see, all these people are married. Brenda is a little bit older than us. Salma's married. Like, literally all these people are married. Cassandra, oh, right, she's a stay-at-home mom, too. I did like her, though. Alyssa Self, I guess she could be an option. Haley's married. I don't know. He knows so many people. Gabriella. And these random children. Oh, yeah, those were those trick-or-treaters you met. Arihi. Didn't we, like, try with her and she was mean or something? I can't remember. So he has nine days until he ages up into a young adult. We really need to, yeah, get that going. I think what I'm going to do is have him travel to the Magic Realm. I really want to work on learning more potions too because he still doesn't learn like he still doesn't know like that many potions stop talking to l please <laughs> he doesn't know that many potions yet but i want to learn how to make the higher rank ones and the ones that sell for more money because that's really going to help us get more money and yeah i figured if we go to the magic realm we could see if there's any which is there that maybe he has an interest in we'll see i also just want to come here because i don't think it's snowing yeah it looks like the weather's a lot better here so that will be nice what's the big deal tired oh mm, mm. eat veggie dog what did what did you just have that in your pocket okay who's this emmy Come say hi to her. Flirty introduction? Why not? I feel like so many people are spawning in this dress, which I think is really funny. She's cute. Oh my god. See? What did I say? The exact same dress in the same swatch. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see how they get along. Brighton Day. Ask a single. She's pretty. Definitely. Oh, she's single? That's good. I wonder if she has kids. Huh. Vent about recent fire. Yeah, do that. Is that Arihi? I think it is. Hold on a second. Let me scout this place out. Yeah, Arihi. We already know her. Diane? Do we know her? Flirty introduction. That's the other girl that walked past. Yikes. Elle's here, of course. <laughs> no, you can't nap. You need to meet young, viable witches. Oh. Oh my god. Why have I never noticed there was a basement here? What the? What the? Okay, Grant. What the? Are these want? Are these brooms? He needs one of those if that's a broom. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Why have I like never noticed this down here? This is cool. I bet this is just a little Simsy renovation because. I doubt it would look that nice if EA built it. Because we are playing in Lil Simsy's save. Alright, let's get to know her a little bit. Heartfelt compliment. Get to know. I also have wonderful whims installed. So, I can figure out if he thinks these people are attractive or not. Perceived as attractive. Okay, not bad. What about Emmy? Perceived as attractive. What about Arihi? Perceived as attractive. Okay, he thinks everybody's attractive, apparently. He's so tired. I should have I should have grabbed a potion of plentiful needs. Mm. Not very smart on my part. We have a bunch of apples so we could easily make some, but if he's in a if he's super tired and in a bad mood, I don't think he's going to successfully make it. Right? So, he's trying to go nap up here. Oh, it's Simeon. Hello. All right. Well, why don't you just come sleep just for a couple hours? It's like pretty early in the day. So I'll just have him sleep for a few hours and then wake up and brew some potions of plentiful needs so that we don't have to worry about him getting tired here and stuff. Here's the other thing I was thinking about building a micro home. Like, he doesn't really need to sleep or take care of his needs much anymore because he can just brew potions of plentiful needs and drink those all the time. So I usually don't waste time sleeping because it just... Why would I have my sim sleep for eight hours if... He can just drink a potion and not have to. So, I don't know. I just need to be more on it about making more potions of plentiful needs. And then we won't have to worry about that. Alright, I'm going to have him wake up and come over here. 
Hmm, nothing to harvest though. That's fine. Come over here, let's brew Potion of Plentiful Needs. And then drink that immediately. It's so beautiful up here. It's so beautiful up here, I love it. And your pajamas too. And look at that just waft of stench mixing with the smoke of the cauldron. <sighs> wow, yeah, it's so beautiful here. Look at that! Look at it! Why is it seriously so beautiful here? I really wish that you could live in the magic realm. I need to see if there's a mod that lets you do that, actually. Because I bet somebody's figured that out. Look at it! I love it! Oh my gosh. Yeah, that would seriously be so cool. I mean, it's like, there's no lots really here. I don't really know, like, what the buildable area is. Like, if you can build over here technically on this lot, or if it kind of only extends to this area. Because that could be a way to do it. If there's a mod that lets you, like, live in the magic realm, you could just build, like, a tiny house over here. Just kind of on the outskirts of this big building. It'd be kind of weird, but also... Why not? Oh, did you do it? Can you bottle this up, please? You can just straight up drink from it. That's cool. No, we don't want to join the good timers. We're into magic. Who's this? Oh, it's another team. Okay, let me just see. Okay, so we have four normal quality potion of plentiful needs. Why don't you drink it? We can list them on Plopsy. Why is that so funny? Who's this? Pania? Why don't you come give a flirty introduction to Pania? I like her hair and the red fit. Ask to hang out. Dude, are you okay? Heartfelt compliment, sweet talk, ask if single. Okay, I can hang out for a bit, great. Get to know. Unflirty, okay. That's not a bad thing necessarily. Stay at home mom. Let me just check real quick because I feel like sometimes the game says that. Oh, she has three kids. Right. Uh, okay, well, she can be a friend then. In that case, I think that we ought to go back upstairs to our little cauldron area and experiment. One kid is fine, but I don't want to bring somebody into the family that has three children. I don't know, that just seems like a lot to deal with. Because I see Amari as being the kind of guy that has like one to two children. Not a bunch of kids, you know? <laughs> You're a fan of Judith? Oh, honey, where did you even see her? Alright, so we're getting there. We're like three-fourths of the way to master. And then after that... You know what, let me just check. Yeah, after that, Virtuoso. I'm gonna check out the spell book too. We know one practical magic spell, copy pasta, that's right, which is super handy. Six of 15 potions. Like, I want to learn some of these. I don't think we know any untamed magic or mischief magic. It's not really his style. It'd be cool if you could, like, ask the, the, what are they called? The spellcaster people. Why well, can't I remember what they're called? What's Morgan? Sage, if you could ask the sages for potions, that would be cool. I don't know if you actually can. Let me just see. Is Simeon around anywhere? He's usually on the computer. Oh, nope, it's just Hannah right now. If Simeon's around later, I'll have to see if we can ask him for potion recipes. I don't know if that's a thing or not. I guess we'll try it out. <gasps> potion of magical aura! Yes! That's amazing! That's amazing. I'm gonna just have him keep experimenting though. He's still in regular tr- Another one? Potion of Rejuvenation, that was so quick. Okay, wow. So, Potion of Magical Aura, Potion that displays a Sim's Magical Aura. Okay, cool. And Potion of Rejuvenation, a potion to allow a Sim to remain at their current age. So, is, so that's, that's like a potion of youth, is that like a potion of youth? That one's gotta be expensive. That's cool. You know what would be cool? If when he's an adult, he drinks that and then he stays an adult forever. And then we get 
his girlfriend or wife or whoever to also drink that and then their kid and they could just be like this spellcaster family that lives forever that'd be kind of cool maybe we'll do that but i bet this one sells for a lot we're gonna have to try that out i know that we have valerian root i think we have lemon and alabaster so we should be able to brew that oh my gosh it says potion of reju rejuvenation sells for 500 which means we can sell it for 2000 on our table this one is 100 so we can sell that one for 500 which isn't bad either yes this is so cool tip why what are you oh simian's there i was gonna have him keep going but then he autonomously decides to go tip what the what is going on Haley, okay. I mean, sure. Do we know this person? Oh, yeah, that's a Rihi. Oh, that's a dress I haven't seen you in, I don't think. Okay, he's going to view a frog right now. This is so random. Oh, I didn't know there were plants out here. That's cool. All right, but Simeon, where is he? He's just standing here doing nothing. All right, so let's see. Tell a joke about ducks, too. I love ducks. Okay, what can we... Can we ask for potion recipes? I don't think that we can. Hmm. Hey, comedy level two. Nice. Um, I want you to get your rank up still. Just come over here and experiment a little bit and then let's go to Caster's Alley. <gasps> can we harvest this? Oh, but we can evolve it. It'd be cool if you could like brew potions together, but I don't think that you can. <gasps> Potion of alluring aura. Wait! Yay! And he reached the next rank! Wow, okay. So let me check that out. He knows 9 of 15. A potion that makes those around the drinker more receptive to romantic conversation. Interesting. Okay. And we do have two talent points to spend. What's this? Extra servings. Oh, yes. Okay, so we'll get more when we brew potions. That's amazing. Ooh, these are some good ones too. Hmm, this could be a good one for Amari. Unlock magical social interactions with other spellcasters that will provide some spellcaster XP. All of these actually would be really useful. This one too, 50% discount on all purchases from the market stalls. We already have this one, let's get this one. Cool, all right. I wonder, does that mean that we can ask Sibion for potion recipes now? Is he like falling asleep? I'm enthused about magic. Oh my gosh, another potion? Potion of forced friendship? I don't think that we can ask for potion recipes still. That's okay. Let's come try some romance on Hannah again. Ask if single. She is single. Oh, and she's self-assured. She has good traits. Self-assured just like Amari. Hmm. Okay, well they didn't get any pink bar from that. It didn't go badly though. Let's go to Caster's Alley. Ooh, dig that up. Okay, Brady, oh, he doesn't like us. We probably shouldn't try to haggle with him. Oh, what's going on over here? Amelia Ernest. Let's say hi to her for the introduction. Oh yeah, and then there's this Alyssa girl. Amelia is a mixologist. Okay, head mixologist. Ask if single, I'm seeing someone. All right, can we haggle with uh, Brooke Rowley over here? Ooh, 25% off. Yes, that's what I like to see. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna buy some more alabaster. I feel like we need that for something. Let's just buy a couple more of these, couple more of these. Ooh, you know what? I think we can just copy pasta these two once we have one. Okay, let's come over here, buy potion ingredients. More death flowers, exotic goldfish buy some of those heavy metal um okay that stuff and then i want to come over here as well okay so tomes this is a potion we already have that's a potion we already have this is a spell to fix a broken object or make it higher quality Ooh, wand of astral creation okay i need to get that because it just looks cool um do we need this it's just fine. It's only 75 simoleons. And then... Is there anything else? I thought I told you to dig this up. Can you dig that up, please? Oh no, he's really tired again. Nothing a little potion can't fix. I wonder if we should go home. 
We should probably go home and check on Merlin. Oh my gosh, I forgot how snowy it was here. Oh no. Okay, all right. I want to have another potion sale too. Let's go ahead, have a potion of plentiful needs. What are you going to do, research? Please drink one of these. Oh, let's give some attention to Merlin too. Kiss. Play with laser pointer. Brush. It'd be cool if he had another cat or a dog. Oh my gosh, wait. Two people just asked him out, basically. Um, what? Cassandra went in. No. Not yet. Not yet. We're still trying to figure out who Amari actually likes. He seems to like everybody. He's just that kind of guy. Become companions! Please do that. Hmm, I love them. Oh, I love it. Yay, and he's all happy. Okay, what should we be doing? Probably experimenting. Or we could have a potion sale. Um, hmm. Aww. Give special smooches? I didn't even tell him to do that. He loves that cat, for real. Um, oh, Simeon! Baby, what's wrong? Give him a hug. Alright, well, okay, Hannah's here too. Do you like me as a person? I sure hope so. No, I don't actually. You know what? You can leave. You can actually leave. Let's talk to Hannah a little bit. Let's try flirting with her some more. I want to know what her kid, like who her kid is, if it's like a toddler or what. Confess attraction. Let's see what she does. What are those goggles, girl? Oh my gosh, Merlin was bitten by a squirrel. I'm not surprised. Oh, did she like that or no? Oh, okay. They got some pink bar, but then she's like, I have to leave. Okay, okay, you make it a little bit difficult to know what's up, but that's okay. Yeah, let's sell some of these potions. Potion of magical aura, potion of forced friendship, potion of alluring aura. I'm gonna keep the potions of plentiful needs for us. Potion of the nimble mind. Sell that. Potion of rejuvenation. Let's keep that for now. All right. So come over here, stock the table, and tend the table, and then we're going to start a yard sale, see if anybody will come out, even though it's heavy snow and freezing. What? Okay, wait. Meet a celebrity day. No. Um, oh, it's Winterfest in two days. Okay, and then it says birthday on love day. Well, that's sweet. Okay, mark up those prices. Sweet. Start the yard sale. Let's see how this goes. Someone! Okay. Hey, where are you going? Give a sales pitch. Did you give him a sales pitch? $12? Oh, was that the potion? Yeah, potion of questionable contents. Okay. 200 That was probably a potion of plentiful needs. 800 Oh my gosh, yes. They're all just chatting, but I need you to give sales pitches. 400 Okay. What about this bald guy? 200 okay not bad oh he stopped tending the table all right let's just end the yard sale okay what's wrong with merlin does he have food where's merlin oh my god baby why are you over here what the heck call merlin over what in the world oh and he's building a snowman hey can y'all leave please is our cat coming back oh my gosh I mean, he was a stray, so it's not that unusual that he would just be, like, running all over the place. Very cute, though. Hello, baby. Who are you? You got some wacky CC on. Gemma Charm. Cheerful introduction. Cheerful. Play with. No, don't play with the cow plant. <gasps> Is it finally growing? Oh my gosh! Okay, wait. Come flirty introduction this person. She's already feeling flirty, so that's that's good for us. And then I need to go talk to our cow plant since it finally grew. It was about magic. Are you a spellcaster? 
They, she must be, right, if I can enthuse about magic with her? Ask about career. Ask about children, definitely. Oh, she's a mom. She, yep, she's a parent. Okie dokie. No big deal, no big deal at all. All right. Oh my god, hello, Mutu. I love you, baby. Took a while for you to sprout. Let's um feed and play with. I never play with cow plants in this game because I'm always afraid my sims are going to get eaten. Hmm. Should we try like a dating app for Amari? I have this mod from, I think it's Little Miss Sam. The Sim Da dating app. It's one in the morning. Okay, whatever. Just ignore the fact that it's one in the morning. But let's see. Like, should I look for a specific date? You know what? I'm intrigued. Let's just do it because he's not finding anybody that really catches his eye. I mean, he thinks everybody's attractive, but like the highest, it's like attractive and then very attractive and then extremely attractive. If he found somebody that he thought was extremely attractive, I would definitely pursue that. But okay, so let's see. There's men and women here. Does that mean he's bi? Or will it just show men and women no matter what? Because that's cool. Hmm. Helena Dowie, Vera Mullins, I feel like these people are going to be like married, you know? What about Vera? Oh, no, you're just going to cook mac and cheese? Don't do that. Oh, oh, you are, you are going. Oh my gosh, I forgot how this app works. Okay, well, it's quite late, maybe we should just go to the bar nearby. I'll just see who this person is. I really have no idea. You know what? I also forgot. Okay, wait. Young adult. She's in coffee club. Okay, so this is one of Lil Simsy's Sims. She's cute. Let's see how they get along. I like how the cold never seems to bother him. Introvert from personality type. That's not right. Oh, she's unflirty. Okay. Compliment appearance. Is that going to make her uncomfortable? You like softball or something? Hey, it's the girl with the bag of money. Oh, that's Alyssa. Oh, okay, they have some pink bar already. Ask about children. Ask if single. She doesn't have kids. That's a positive. Ask about career. And she's single. Unruly activist that concerns citizens of my So that's... What, what career is that again? Is that a pol the political career? So she's unflirty, but she's taking our flirts, which is good. Oh my gosh, there's actually some people here. Simeon's here, but I'm upset with him. He was probably just having a bad day, but still. Let's order drinks for the group. Why don't we get... Hmm, dim and Gusty. Y'all gonna sit together? Cute! There's so many people around, but other than that, it's cute. Elle's just back there with a future cube. Oh, she's got a future cube too. Okay. Wonder what she thinks or he thinks of her. Very attractive. So that's that's the best one yet. Okay, yeah, she is a politician. This wants us to kiss her. Should we try it? First kiss. Try it. Try it. <gasps> that was Amari's first kiss. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I need to pay the bills. Oh no. Okay, wait. Okay, so now we have a gold date. Let's end the date. It's so late. Okay, well that I think actually went pretty well. Alright, how is Merlin doing? Where is Merlin? Oh, just over here. He's trying to go cook mac and cheese. No, why don't you just um, say what's up to Merlin and then let's light the, the fire and grill something to eat. Just some veggie dogs for breakfast. Cooking level four. Okay. Oh, pay the bills. Pay the bills. Not that we have any like plumbing or electric anyway. It really doesn't matter. We should be off the grid to be honest. So we don't have to pay bills. You know what? Also, I might as well check this out. Okay, so let me see. If we, we need to place four tiles in order to be a tiny home. 
I could just build him a little outhouse. He can still sleep in a tent. Yeah, because maybe it's time to get rid of the bush. Although I do enjoy having the bush because then Merlin finds us feathers sometimes, which is cool. Um, the thing about this is I cannot see what I'm doing because <laughs> there's snow on the ground. Let's get a regular shower now. I'm just going to put some regular wood down in here. I'm kind of thinking maybe like the single bulb light, if I can find it. Yeah, I think that one would be fine for in here. And then, hmm, maybe a nice colored wallpaper. Blue, green. Green could be nice. Let's do green. And then I kind of want like some wood for the outside of it. Yeah, I think something like that would actually look good. Just like a brown. I don't think I'm gonna put a window since it's just the bathroom, but let's get a door, obviously. Let me just put a little roof on it as well. I don't wanna get anything too fancy because I don't think that makes sense. Um, like this one could work from Outdoor Retreat or this one. Maybe that one from Laundry Day. And let's just get a basic toilet. Uncomfortable, maybe not the uncomfortable one. <laughs> I feel like this one looks like it's meant to be in here. And then we just need a shower. I don't think I'm gonna get him a bathtub. I can put that there. And then I could also actually put Merlin's litter box in here. Yeah, I think that works. Let's get him a mirror too, why not? I feel like it just looks better if you have a mirror above the sink. Okay, what about that one? Very simple. And then he actually has a bathroom. You know what? I'll be generous and I'll give him some toilet paper as well, just to complete it. Here you go. Should he have some kind of towel too? I just like to make it look realistic, you know? I don't know what he was drying off with before. Ooh, that's cute. All right, there we go. Just a few towels. All right, well, there we go. Now he has an outhouse at least. <laughs> Good for him, but he still has his little bush in case he ever wants to use that. I'm mostly leaving it there for Merlin. So what should we have him do right now? Experiment. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's going to experiment. That's good. Maybe we should go to a different world And walk around and see if we can find more people. Oh Good boy using the litter box Winterfest is tomorrow. Okay I was thinking what if we go to Brindleton Bay and walk around and try to meet what are you going to do? nap, okay Hannah wants to come over Okay, I guess. Um, yeah, what if we went to Brindleton Bay and tried to find some women to date? <laughs> and what are you going to do? Oh, oh, honey, that's our bathroom. Let's just say hey. Enthuse about magic. And then if we go to Brindleton Bay, we can also see if there's more stray animals. Because I feel like Amari would definitely want another pet. He seems to love Merlin so much. And I would get lonely if I lived on this little lot by myself. I mean, he has Merlin, but like, I don't know. Couldn't hurt to have another animal. And he definitely seems like the kind of guy that would just like adopt strays. <laughs> Can we brew any of these new potions that we learned? <gasps> oh my gosh, we really can. We have all this stuff. Let's brew some potions of rejuvenation. Can we like ask- Oh, <gasps> oh my god, we can ask Hannah to help. Will that make it go faster? I wish she would take these goggles off. <gasps> oh my goodness, you know what? I'm just gonna jump into Cass and give her a teeny bit of a makeover just so she's not wearing those dumb goggles. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of cute actually for like potion mixing because maybe it's like protective eye gear, you know? Oh my god, she's got tabbies on with Adidas socks. This is quite the look. Okay, so her son, Jeffrey Cato. He's a toddler right now, so I mean, that wouldn't actually be so bad. He's cute. Hmm. Okay, Hannah. And we already know, oh, she's she got the party animal aspiration. We know she's self-assured, neat, and proper. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, she's got an eyebrow piercing on for this. Yeah, I'm gonna give her a quick makeover. She's got like these- she's got- are those the same color eyes as Amari? If not, they're extremely similar. I actually really like this hair on her and I don't mind the dress either. And the shoes weirdly kind of go with it. 
like, I mean, this looks like a proper outfit to me. Fits her trait. I'm just gonna just make her look a little bit better. I think we owe her that. Okay, that dress was kind of making her hair, it was like clipping with the hair and looking really weird. So I'm gonna give her a new dress actually. I think this looks fine. I like this dress with the knitted tights and she can keep the shoes honestly. I kind of feel like it fits her. Oh no, the f oh right, you have a bag of money too. No. See this dress? Okay, stop flailing around. It kind of gives her these like weird orange pieces around her hair. So I do have to change it unfortunately, even though I do like the dress. Okay, this is quite the party outfit. Wow, who knew? I thought you were a proper girl. That's better. Okay, I think she looks a lot better overall. So that's Hannah's new look. I think she looks a lot better. I tried to keep her general, you know, general vibe. If she had stuff that was like, okay, I kind of just like fixed it up a little bit. Just having them finish up brewing this potion. Did you do it? Yay, bottle up all. Is it tired again? Oh, and the solo cups. Was it not good quality? You know what? I want to change this personality type that he got. ISFP. I don't feel like it makes sense that he's introverted if he's outgoing, you know? Pick Amari's personality type. Oh, and social group. Oh, this feature is not complete yet. Okay, so let's see. He needs to be E, one of the E. We could just do ESFP. That'd be the same except extroverted. Extraordinarily caring, social, and popular people always eager to help. Popular leisure activities include volunteering, charity, religious organizations, celebrating holidays and family traditions, cooking, entertaining, and social sports. Yeah, that sounds like Amari to me. We'll do that one. All right, well, is there anything else that we need to take care of? Anything in our garden? No, what about Mutu? Mutu's fine, let's just pet him a little bit. I think Merlin's fine wherever he went. Oh, we can fill his bowl up. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. I really just tried to focus on getting Amari's spellcaster rank up in this episode and learning some more potions so that we can like sell more expensive potions. <laughs> Look at him just viewing his pumpkin. He does like his pumpkin quite a lot. Anyway, yeah, and I tried to work on the romance a little bit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold on anybody yet, but We'll see. We'll see how it goes in the next episode. I would like him to meet some more people But yeah, that's gonna be all for this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it Please let me know in the comments if you think I should build him a Micro home and like get him a proper bed and a kitchen and stuff or if you think it's fine that he just like has a tent and his campfire because I'm really torn. I don't know, like, I don't know which way to go with it. So please let me know if you have an opinion on it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, everybody.